Hey everyone, Linda here. Come back at you today with another video. Welcome back to Adore R. Hope everyone's doing good and staying safe out there. Coming to you with part two of my book haul for June. So let's get started. I got this big bag right here. This is from Half Price Books uh, from Bowling Green. So let's see what we got up in here. First up, I got Lorraine Heath, The Earl Takes a Fancy. The born out of wedlock, fancy true love is determined to fulfill her mother's wish that she marry into nobility. Fancy keen in intellect and finishing school manners makes her the perfect wife for any gentleman if he's willing to overlook her scandalous lineage. But fancy plans are thrown into chaos when an intriguing commoner begins visiting her bookshop and she finds herself unable to stop thinking about him. So this sounded good. Male character is going to be a commoner. I was like, let me check it out. And I, like I said, I, all of these books were from Half Right Books out of, uh, I think I got a card in here. So if any of you are from Kentucky, was it a card in here somewhere? I thought it was. Had their address and stuff on it. You were in Kentucky and you wanted to go to a half price book. This is in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Half price books. Got the telephone number there and they got an email address there and it also has their address there. And it also have the little their website. So I guess you can call there or uh, email them and purchase book that way. So there you go. If you don't have a half price book close to you, you can I guess you can email them and uh, see do they have any books you would like a romance book. But they have all kinds of books, so there you go. So Lorraine Heath, the Earl takes a fancy sound. It good. And then I got another Lorraine Heath when with when a Duke loves a woman. Let's see what this one about. I, these must be in a, a series. Yep, sins for the season series. But I don't know which book is book one and which book is book two. But like I always say, I'll put it in the description below when I list the books below. Uh, I'll put what uh, book it is in the series. Gilly or uh, Jilly. Tree Wolf knows what a stranger kindness can mean, having been abandoned on a on a doorstep as a baby and raised by the woman who found her there. So when suddenly faced with a soul in need at her, faced with a soul in need at her door or the alleyway by the by her tavern, Gilly doesn't he hesitate. But he's no infant; he's a gravely injured, distractingly handsome gentleman who doesn't belong in Whitechapel, much less recuperating in Gilly's bed when a duke loves a woman and I wish you could I don't know if you could see that but the, the letters they're kind of like shiny like and I like this cover too some nice covers so I got two Lorraine Heath books right there Let's see what else I got up in here I got a Susan nope Catherine's soup cliff I've read some of her books before, so when I saw this, I was like, let me check it out. I liked her writing. This is Shadow Play, and we got a step back. You see there. That's nice. Maybe I'll have that for Step Back Saturday this Saturday. That's nice. What it said, a, at passionate play in Danger Shadow, they found paradise in a savage Eden. Okay. Is this going to be some kind of... um? Adventure. I see he got a knife there on his uh, thighs. On his thigh there. Let's see what this is about. A guard to the Indians of the Amazon. A lusty. Yep, he's going to be an adventurer. A lusty adventurer whose courage was renowned. Morgan Kane was in truth a rogue and a charlatan. A handsome deceiver whose legend was mere illusion. Okay. Leaving the glitter of London behind, beautiful Sarah St. Jane sought justice in a lush and savage wilderness, surrendering her destiny to Cain, a viral opportunist who secretly plans to use and then abandon her. Oh my goodness. What was this published? <laughs> everybody might not like this book because you know how this was back in oh, 1991. 
But I was going to give it a try. It's, I like us. Uh, uh, I keep on to call her Susan. I like Catherine uh, Sutcliffe. Have any of you read uh, her before? I've read some of her books before. I enjoyed them. There you go. Let's see what we got here. We got Sarah Robbins. What to wear to a seduction. Most of these are going to be uh, historical. <laughs> I love the historical. So most of these are historicals. When was this published? 2006. Let's see what this said. Edwina groaned as she stared at her reflection in a tall gilded mirror. And what now? I'm putting on the clothing simply to have it taken off. And why would proper Lady Edwina Ross dress to seduce London perfect lover? Because Prescott Devane, the notorious rogue, is the only one who can help the desperate lady with her scheme to catch a blackmailing fiend. Because no one else could play the role of a love-struck fiancé so convincingly. Because a fault, a fault engagement secrets the threat of scandal and the promise of untapped passion are too tantalizing to ignore because if the need arises every woman should know what to wear to a seduction so we're gonna have a fake fiance okay i like this cover that's that's nice what else we got in here we got gail gail wilson the Gambler's Heart. This is a uh, Holocaust historical right here. So can I try to take this off? See whether it works. Uh oh, it comes right on off. Okay, we got lucky. But it said Holocaust historical. This is a pretty nice cover. Let's see when this was published. Uh, this was published in 1996. Let's go back and see when these first two here was published. These probably were published in the 2000s, so let's see. Um, let's see here. If I can find it. Um, 2018. Yeah, they were published in the 2000s. 2018. And this one is 2020. Okay. Okay. Where was I at? Yeah, here. Gail Wilson, The Gambler's Heart. This looked intriguing. So that's why I got it. The beauty had the beauty had wed the beast. The beauty had wed the beast, and London was rife with rumors. What really went on in the marriage bed of Lady Madeline Fairchild and Jean and John Luke Gaver for a celebrated beauty of the tongue could never have gone willingly, willingly into the arms of a common gambler scarred in body and soul. Madonna had looked beyond the fire rabbit vestige Jean Luke wore like a badge of defiance and had seen her salvation. A true lover who swore he would vanquish the ghost of her past even as she vowed to sacrifice everything to safeguard his future. So this might be going on my TBR for next month. So let me put this over here because that, yeah, I want to read that one. And next I have another Gail Wilson, The Heart's Wager. Let's see when this one was published. If I like these books, I'm going to go and try to find all her books because they the, the synopsis is sounding very, very, very good. Uh, this was published in 1995. Let's see what this said. Colonel Devon Burke knew little of the alien world in which he traveled. Yet he was determined to find the man whom he owed his life or else die trying. And the mysterious Julie Devam seemed his only hope for success. Once the Tulsa perished, Julie, life had been destroyed the night of her father's death. Now she lived by her wits in a dangerous underground existence. And the one man whom she had come to tr come to trust was blind to the woman beneath the protect protective guys. So that sounded interesting. Is she going to be like her? Because she had to go underground or something. What it said, destroyed the night of her father's death. Now she lived by her wits in a dangerous underground existence. Okay. Is she going to be a thief or something? I don't know. But it sounded interesting. So let me put that one over here too. This might also be added to the TBR for next month. But this is uh, the Heart's Wager. So I'm going to read this one. 
And then if I really, really like it, I'll read that one too. But I'm really putting this one on the TBR for uh, July. Let's see what else we got in here. We Wings of Desire by Elizabeth Lambert. Look at that cover. Let's see here. Let's see what we got. This was published in 1989. Oh, this is by Penelope. If you can see it right there, Penelope Williamson. This must, Elizabeth Lambert must be another pen name for her because I like Penelope Williamson. So this might end up on the July uh, TBR also. Okay. Let's read a little bit of this. Mary Del Devil Flyer and Notorious Womanizer Link Cameron. Never or still Cassie had no choice if she hoped to compete in the transcontinental aeroplane race. She have to wear her new co-pilot or forfeit the race. Once they won the grand prize, they could part with no regrets or could they? Dun dun dun. <laughs> so this is interesting. She's gonna be a um a pilot. What they call it uh uh, they're going to be in some kind of race, airplane race, transcontinental aeroplane, aeroplane race. That was, when I read the back of that, that sounded interesting because you don't read too many about a uh, female back in the, because this looked like it's set back, it's a historical set back in the, I don't know what year this is supposed to be set in, 1919. So this is going to be in 1919. It said going to be uh, Kingsley, Virginia in 1919 no women find no one too many women flying no planes back in 1919 so this is gonna be very interesting and then it's gonna be a marriage of convenience also okay okay i see you <laughs> next we got another sarah robbins one wicked night look at that cover okay what, what's going on here <laughs> to escape her tyrannic tyrannical Father's design. Oh my goodness. Miss Lily Kane gambles her reputation and transfers herself from an impet, insipid Miss Wallflower to daring sensation. Dazzling polite society and the opportune attention of a notable Marquise in the process. But when her kindly protector is wrongly accused of murder and dragged off to Newgate Prison, suddenly Lillian's needs more than a pretty face and a plan. She need Nicholas Redford, the one man in London who wants nothing to do with her. Nick is not about to imperil his good name or that of his fledgling inquiry firm by helping a murderous scoundrel elude justice, no matter how enticing the man's mistress. But the exquisite Miss Kane is not as she appears. The dashing investigator soon learns and it is only after one wicked night of passion that nick realized that of all dark places where danger lurks the most unexpecting is his heart this one sounded good too oh, all these look i was like i picked these <laughs> all these are sounding good and i didn't know i had some of these with the same author uh going on here so these two are with the same author uh, next, I have another Harlequin Historic. I got me another lens. I got me, um, I was trying to uh, buy quite a few of Lynn Stone books here. So I found this one there. And this is The Quest. Let's see when this was published. And this is a Harlequin Historical. And this is a Medieval on the side there, if you can see. Let's see what's that going on here. This was set in, uh, I mean, this was written in 2001. Victim of an abusive marriage, Ayanna vowed in her widowhood never again to put her face in masculine hands. But one man, Henry Gidlett, heir to the Travail dynasty, had aroused her slumbering desire and endangered her deepest resolve. Love, Henry Gidlett plundered, was simple. Noble obligations were not, and now he faced a royal sized dilemma, for though the lady Ayanna had saved him, from certain death, her shadow past so full of the darkest secrets stood between them and threatened a few and threatened a future together. So that sounded interesting, and I like Lynn Stone, so I hope this is good. Let's see, I got that's all the books, and I saw this right here, Criminal Minds. So I I always uh, try to get the first season of a show that I love, and I like Criminal Minds, so I was like, and I saw this there, and it's the first season. When uh, this guy was still there, they had all the original, um, when all the original uh, crew was there. So I was like, let me pick it up. 
So I had to pick that up. So I got that. So that's everything I got from Half Price Books. And I also picked up this little book card here. Life is a treasure hunt. You just need to know where to look. Discover brand new booksellers plus thousands of used books, including incredible, rare, and out-of-print gems at Half Price Books. There you go. All right, so that, that's my Half Price Book haul there. And... Let's get to the Burns and Noble part. I only got four books from Burns and Noble. Here's the bag here. Let's see what we got here. I picked up a book by Eva Devon, The Spinster and the Rake. Edward Stan Stanhope. The icy Duke of Thornfield likes his life in a certain order. Give him, give him a strong drink, a good book, and his dog for company, and he's content. But when he goes to his library and finds a woman sitting in his chair petting his dog, what stars, what starts as a polite request for her to vacate quickly turns to a fiery battle of wits, leading to a steamy kiss that could ruin them both if they were caught. That sounded interesting. And it said, uh, a fury battle of which, you know, I like good banter between the two two main characters. Yeah. So we're going to see how this turned out. But there's the cover there. See when this was published. Uh, 2021. Anybody read Eva Devon? Have any of you read this book? And if you have, how was it? Next, I picked up. Olivia Drake, Forever My Duke. Let's see what they. Was. Sorry, my camera uh went out there. Let's see when this was published here. This was published in 2020. Let's see what this said. Hadrian, these names, boy. Hayden or Hadrian Ames, the Duke of Clayton, needs a bride. He even has the perfect one picked out. That is, until he meets the lovely, free-spirited Natalie Frenshaw. She's the opposite of what a man of his high rank should desire in a wife. An outspoken American who has never, e has never even set foot in a London ballroom. So that sounded interesting because I like when... Um, you got people from different countries hooking up because she's going to be an American and he's going to be English. Yeah, right up my alley. So I was like, let me get it. And this, I guess this is going to be in a series, the Unlikely Duchess series. So that sounded good. Forever my Duke. Have any of you tried this one? Did you like it? Let me know. Got two more in here. Next one I have is uh cat sebastian unmasked by the marquess or marquess let's see when this was published here uh this one was published in uh if it does it say am i overlooking it 2018 let's see what this said robert selby is determined to see his sister louisa make an adventurous and an advantageous match. But he has two problems. The Shelbys have no connections or money and Robert is really a housemaid named Charity Church. She's enjoyed every minute of her masquerade over the past six years, but she knows her pretense is nearing an end. Charity needs to see Louisa married well and then Robert Shelby will disappear forever. Alistair, Marquis of Pembroke, has spent years repairing the estate run by his father, and nothing is more important than protecting his fortune and name. He shouldn't be so beguiled by the charming young man who shows up on his doorstep asking for favors, and he certainly shouldn't be thinking of all the dis disreputable things he liked to do to the impertinent scamp. So we got the uh, heroine dressing up like a male and the uh, hero falling for the heroine as a male. So we're going to see how they're going to work out. And we're going to see how it's going to turn out. And this is Cat Sebastian Unmasked by the Marquis. And the last book I have in here, it's a Holoquin Intrigue, The Decoy. And it said Kara and Jake Investigation by Carol Erickson. I found this at um, Barnes & Noble's. Let's see when this one was published here. 
2021. Let's see what this said. Therapist Carol Chase fights for victim and their family, but she harbors her own tragic secret. The unsolved murder of her mother. Now a new threat is terrorizing the city of angels, a killer who mimics another killer's MO. LAPD homicide detective Jake McAllister has to help his partner solve crimes in both the past and present before Kira becomes the victim in a chilling vendetta of violence that's far from over. So, you know, I like my uh, heroes to be detective or policeman or something like that. Yeah, so I was like, let me try this one out. And she's a, I think she's a therapist. Yeah, she's a therapist. So it sounded pretty good. And I guess this is a, I guess they got their own little series going on, Kira and Jake Investigation. I wonder if this is going to be a continuing series about these two. Uh, they're probably not together. I guess this is going to be like an ongoing romance or something like that. Maybe they like each other, but they haven't got together yet. Okay. <laughs> But look at that cover. I like it. And then you got the, I guess this is a, maybe this is the killer back here in the shadows like. And then we at the fair or whatever. It looked it interesting. So I just picked it up. So that's my haul. Let me know if you, any of you read any of the books that I've showed you. And let me know which one you enjoyed. And maybe I'll pull that out and read it for July. So let me know. And thank you for joining me for my second book haul here for June. And I hope you all enjoyed it. And until next time, keep reading those romances and I'll see you all later. Bye.